بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم رحمۃ اللہ بفور آئی بگن ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ واٹ آئی وانٹ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ہیئر از اے ڈسکلیمر دیر آر چانسز دیٹ آئی مائٹ کم اکراس ایز اے گڈ پرسن اینڈ یو مائٹ فائنڈ سم کائنڈ آف ریسپیکٹ ان یور ہارٹ اینڈ دیٹس فائن بٹ آئی وانٹ ٹو ٹیل یو that all my life i'm almost 50 years old i have been a idiotic horrendous person of the highest order it is only now that i'm beginning to either call it waking up or call it recovery uh, that's very very initial stages that i'm in and i am just sharing my insights about different things uh, uh, i will be doing that inshallah more frequently today let me uh, allow me to let my mind go for a bit this will establish a relationship between me and you i want you to listen to me as just a voice in your life and if there is any worthwhile idea that comes across please own it and run with that never ever thinking about where it came from i no i can credit as needed here it's yours have that you know gold miners mentality they go to all lands to you know remote rivers and work through the mud and fight all the you know insect and mosquitoes and what not humidity heat to find golden nuggets so they work against negative things and they get positive thing do the same thing with me i am the first you know uh, uh, source but there might be golden nuggets for you and with this hope I want to share with you what I think is our true value that is human that is you and me forget about uh, the rest of 7 billion just between me and you I am convinced that we are the most fascinating phenomena in the universe just this moment of being amazing amazing strange if i have to ask you i'm going to share with you a couple of facts and just to establish you know our value we have a tendency to take ourselves for granted and don't value ourselves much but here is the honest scientific truths if i have to ask you what's your age uh, the normal tendency is to count years from the year of birth and that's a fallacy me and you it has taken somewhere in the vicinity of 14 billion years for us to arrive at this moment and that's the reality can you process the weight behind it if you can walk around on daily basis from at least time to time 
carry this mindset. We are very valuable things. This, what, what are we made up of? Dust, where did it come from? It comes from stardust. We are made up of stardust. That's a scientific fact. We are very, very, very precious. If I have to ask you, who are you? You know, people tend to give their name, gender, race. And that's identifying things. That identifies oneself. Who, but, you know, the question is, who are you? And people might say, I'm my thoughts. No, thoughts are yours. Who are you? You are the one who's thinking. So who are you? People say, you know, I'm my personality, I'm my appearance, uh, my moods, my mental capacity, my conscious, my subconscious. No. All of that is yours. You are not that. If you sum all of these all are parts, if you sum them together, you are more than the sum of all these things. Let me give you a glimpse. I try to. This is how I see it. And I may be wrong, but you take a look at it and see if uh, there is some worth in it. If I have to get the glimpse of who I am, I'll ask you something. Look at these glasses. You are looking at these glasses, right? Now look at yourself looking at these glasses. Where are you now? And if I ask you, look at yourself, look at yourself looking at these glasses. Rather, look at yourself looking at yourself looking at these glasses. Where are you? That elusive dot of consciousness, that is who we are. That's the main core. We are behind uh, you know, our eyes and behind our thoughts. It's that conscious, responsible conscious dot. And by responsible I mean the one that witnesses and has the capacity to respond to its circumstances. Huh? The responsible dot that witnesses the circumstances and responds to it appropriately or appropriates it. Witnesses and appropriates. And it is strange consciousness. Its value is amazing, amazing, amazing. Everything revolves around this dot of consciousness. If you are not here, Nothing is here. Who cares about all the black holes and galaxies and mountains and this and all that? Nothing will be here. Everything is here because you are here. Allah, the one and the only designer, the creator, the sustainer, says that I have created everything for you. 
So you are in the center of creation. Right? That's the spiritual centeredness. You know, you are also physically in the center of the universe. This is how important me and you are. You know, the universe is expanding. If you take a snapshot of the universe today, pick up four random points, name them A, B, C, D, and take another snapshot after a year and track back this, those same four points A, B, C, D, mark them, and then take those th two snaps and transpose them all on one all, on each other and match A with A, you will see that everything is moving away from A. And if you match B with B, everything will be moving away from B. Amazing. And it's same for C and D. And for all the points in the universe, whichever point you pick up, everything seems to be moving away from it. So go ahead. Pick yourself. You become in the center of the universe. Can you imagine that? And why not? I mean, if I decide that I am the center of universe, scientifically, I can do that. Nobody can prove me wrong. Okay, you don't take a spiritual centeredness, you don't take physical centeredness. How about this? We, you and I, are the center of all human activity. All businesses are dying for our piece of pie, our attention, our money, our indulgement, indulgence. All the TV programs, singers, sports, entertainment, products, even business to business transactions are there to support them because eventually they are dealing with you and me. They are serving. So in the corporate world also, you are in the center of all the activities. You are the focal point that everybody is focused on. Not only corporate world. Governments are in place to serve Me and you, dying for it. Watch the politicians in election. They are, you know, really, really look talking to us. All man-made things, all God-made things. And scientifically, we are in the center that dot of consciousness sits in the center of the universe. This is how important we are. We tend to get caught up in daily rut and this ultimate reality gets fizzled out, muddled up. It gets out of our sight and we are too caught up. It's a good idea to whenever we get a chance to have the ability to get out of the rut and take a long shot and see truly who we are. 14 billion years old made up of stardust, center of the universe by all means. Unique. There has never ever been anybody like you. And you will never be repeated one time. And you and I are not objects. We are events, unfolding events, ever unfolding. As a matter of fact, nothing is object. Even the wall behind me, you might say that that's an object. No. Trillions upon trillions of atoms are at work. Photons are being bounced off. There's VAT going on. 500 years from now, it will be all crumbled to dust. 
It's an event going on. We are an event. And all this in this whirlpool of event, the question begs, what is the most fitting way of living this opportunity that we call life? The most fitting thing to do is to understand the ultimate reality of life and to live accordingly. What is the ultimate reality of life? That there is a designer and there is a reason for all this awesome, strange, mind-boggling, inconceivable, incomprehensible science going on, the beauty of nature and the technology, advancement of this technology. Oof, Allahu Akbar. All this is not useless. We are the product of the kun that Rabbul Alameen said and we are in the process of making. He has created a creation which has the free will to do whatever it wants to do with itself. He has given principles. Every single one of us know what is good and what is bad. Whoever does good succeeds. Whoever does wrong, decays. And when we die, we become the finished products and whatever, uh, whenever we wake up on the other side, whatever we have become, we will be treated accordingly. And so on and so forth. We have to take the longest shot that we can and understand the whole universe and the whole purpose of life. And that is a must. Otherwise, we will incur the biggest mistake of incomprehensible mistake. That is wastage of this opportunity called life. Whatever good you find in this, pick up, use it for your own self. Again, it does not matter where it's coming from. Disregard the person who's talking in this video. It's your pick them up, run with it. Please, I encourage you, I recommend to you highly not to like or comment or share this. Hold it. Take it all on the inside, just you. The more you hold it within and the more you process it for your own self, the more beneficial it will be. Never talk about it, where it came from. Get it, own it, run with it. If there are any golden nuggets in it, it's for you to own. Take them, do whatever you want to do. May Allah Ta'ala put barakah in this exercise. You have no benefit can come from anybody except you. Ya Rab, faghfir lana wa ahidna. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum.